from Secret to a certain extent. Right. Does Secret now answer, say, yeah, you're right, this is your mistake? I mean, Mao, if you if you're secret, do you think, again, you do take that RTZ Invoker early? Because he's been having great performances on it. I, I don't think you can falter his Invoker. No, no, I don't think uh, Artur has been the, the weak link by, by any stretch. No. I don't think there's been a weak link. No. Uh, it's, you know, these games were so close. I don't think the, the Invoker was the problem. So I, I think that's a solid pickup, but yeah. last time around they got it on the, on the third pick, so they might be, uh, get greedy again. I think Chopra raised a, a valid point in picking up the Enchantress. We know Poppy is so very good at playing and executing on, on heroes like Enchantress and Chen. So why not? That's one of the things you got to ask yourself. Why not, Poppy? Why not take... Nope. Okay, no. 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 Beastmaster <laughs> Ryman. Why not? All right. Uh, yeah, again, why not? I mean, yeah. Beastmaster has been that top priority. We've seen it time and time again throughout even just day two here. And the the yeah, so then the again. It's the third game in a row from the posture. There's just really no predicting Poppy's mindset. Like, yeah. I, I might as well just give up, right? <laughs> yeah, I mean, Empire has been, uh, you could say, somewhat predictable, right? right. It, that doesn't mean it's bad, but it's been pretty predictable. And once again, they're practicing very highly, but Puppy, I mean, he's coming in with his very own plan, which, you know, is, again, we talked about earlier, you can't fault him. I mean, he, he has that history for a reason. So he's coming in with a plan of his own, Beast and Winter Wyvern coming in. So he, he picks this Winter Wyvern with a plan, right? He knows he's going to pick up a pick later on in time that would benefit a lot from it. At the same time, he realizes that the Enchantress is going to be the second pick, yeah. unless they went for the Puck, which I think they could have. So the thing is now, Nature's Prophet and Enchantress, whichever target the Winter Ooh. Wyvern chooses to to keep alive, those two heroes won't be able to do any damage to them while they are uh, uh, under the uh, protection of the spell I can't remember the name of that. <laughs> oh, Winter's Curse. Yeah. Winter's Curse. Winter's Curse. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Well, oh this is, I mean, again, you know, Ramses, I was talking about the start of the series, both games, the Jaro game, the Spectre game, amazing performances from this guy. And I like, he's, he's only a kid, he's only like 17, and this man, he come, turns up, and he plays against Secret, and he gives us some of the best carry performances I feel that we've seen th this tournament. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty interested to see if we're going to see a hero we don't typically see. I mean, there's so many heroes that these guys want to ban. Is there a possibility that we could see somebody kind of uh, rare these days in this draft? Thing? I mean, I'm going to go out on Olympia and say that oh. probably Bends the puck. You know? Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, mean, I was going to raise that question. Does he maybe even take the risk this time being like, hey, last time we banned just the puck, so this time we're going to ban just Spectre? See how that pans That's out. That's what I mean, I'm wondering. If you take away the spec, are you still scared of the puck? Oh, there's always a reason to be scared of the puck with him. I oh, mean, last man. time, you, last time you guys almost made it sound like that was the one to be more scared of the puck. I mean, just because of how strong he is on that hero, but also the versatility of the hero brings. Whereas Spectre, I mean, sure annoying, but you kind of know what to expect coming out of that. I mean, we'll see. Again, it's it's hard to read the mind of someone like Puppy, but I think it's okay. Uh, he's gonna okay. he's gonna play he's safe. Gonna he's gonna play safe. Yeah. All right. Don't mess it around. Our job is still secure. <laughs> we we got one prediction right. <laughs> I mean, oh. their their life is on the line here. I mean, sure, you can say that, hey, we're, we're going to take this chance to really try what we can, see how we learn to adapt in the landscape. But at the same time, I mean, when you're about to get eliminated with the expectation that lies on a team like this, and you want to play in front of a crowd like this one more time, you can't take any chances. So now, the picks, what do these first two picks lead into for a it, secret? It's very ballsy of them to pick up this Winter Wyvern, considering how little success it's had, mm -hmm. and how it's not highly regarded by either oh. side. So it's, oh, it's one of these keeping it alive strats again. Okay. The Wisp comes out. We saw this yesterday and they, it wasn't very successful. I thought for, uh, for a second that they were going to pick up that game because of the, the strength of the Naga Siren in the late game, but Empire just proved me wrong and went, ran over them with the, with the Pog and the Spectre as soon as they got into the uh, late to mi uh, mid game. So, hmm. so what's a hero that we'll be seeing most likely with this Io? I mean, Io has certain heroes that he always likes to run with. I mean, could we be seeing a Sven? Could we be seeing a Tiny? I'm trying to think well, what, what the secret. I mean, OD is still in the pool for our tour. Do you think there's any chance? Yeah, that, I think that the OD, the OD is... will come out because I mean, you know, Winter's Curse. You're not doing the damage, but you're still stealing the the intel. Okay. I mean, the Invoker is out, right? So we're gonna have to see something yeah. different. Right. On, On the, the other hand. Tour. Empire must know this, right? They watched the game earlier, they knew they were going to go up against the, uh, one of the two teams playing between Secret and E-Home, so they but must know... But where did the mind games end, Jacob? They know everything! That's why I, I don't even want to try and predict what he's thinking right now, because... I re like, I'm, I'm going through my list of uh, Artesi and Internal Envy heroes, and there's, like, the OD is the ob obvious yeah. one, which yeah. I assume that Empire will know and then ban out. I wonder if I'm... So, going down the list... 
Ember doesn't really combo with Wisp. No, not particularly. Uh, do you think that maybe Ramses could be looking at getting an Ember Spirit this game against the lineup so far from from the side of Secret? He plays a very, very good Ember Spirit. It's not a bad idea. It's okay. not a bad idea. It's hard for, uh, well, Wisp at least to, to be particularly useful against him. Okay. Disruptor. Disruptor, okay, yeah. I, I like mean, this pickup. Yeah, he classic counter, you know, to the uh, Wisp. You send somebody back and then you trap somebody else, so uh, <laughs> it's good stuff there, but I'm super interested to see what Team Speaker Secret is going to pair with that bad boy. Yeah, I mean, it, it seemed like Empire was trying to figure that out too, being like, hey, is there anything we can take away now to kind of block that? It mm -hmm. seems like they're going to go first for just the more better-known counter straight for IO. And I mean, if they want the OD, they need to pick it up now, right? For secret. Yeah, yeah. Surely, yeah. I mean, is that the plan, though? Mm hmm. Seconds remaining. Oh, they're taking their sweet time. Does he have a plan? <laughs> <laughs> that is my question. <laughs> That's actually the secret. Is that they it? Have a plan the secret is you don't know what the heck they're doing. So you just pick whatever. <laughs> if we don't know what we're doing, <laughs> on they the, definitely. <laughs> on the topic of keeping everything alive, mm -hmm. it's, it's a core Omni Knight, isn't it? Oh my god, if it was a core Omni Knight, I'd have to step down. I'd have a heart attack. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, whew, they are taking their time. 45 seconds left. Team discusses what could it be. He, you can tell he hasn't made up his mind. I love watching the player cams when the draft yeah, is going. Yeah, it's it's interesting for a lot of you teams. know he. Oh, there it is. Yeah, he, right. Okay, it's such a safe thing. Yeah, I mean, even if it's obvious, you you know what you can do with it. You know what your strengths are. Just because they know it's coming doesn't mean that you're going to lose with it, right? I mean, you're, you're oh, good at what you were good at. I like this as well. We saw in the last game, you know, Scandal yeah. bringing the next assassin to the mid game, and he did a great job against uh, RTZ Invoker. This time it's going to be against RTZ OD, and, and again, it's against that Intel matchup. I mean, I get a strong matchup for, for, for the Nexus assassin. He can do all right against this hero. Uh, I mean, the laning phase is going to be difficult, but later on in, in, in the game, obviously, with Punishing. mana burn, it's great. Oh yeah, classic Center. counter, right? That's the classic pub counter. Max mana burn, and you're good. That's one dead OD. If you can catch him <laughs> without a BKB, good luck. All right, we're gonna ban out the spin there, and we have one more ban. No Phantom Lancer. That's an interesting ban coming out. So there is, there's a slog in the pool. There's obviously the Ember Spirit, but hmm. Hmm. what is it gonna be? What are we missing here? What do we need for this? I don't know. Thing? I think that, like this here. winter wyvern pickup is—is is it just strictly for the nature's prophet and the enchantress? You know, it's good at, at, at keeping the summon summons at bay. Obviously, mm -hmm. nullifying the damage coming out from them through winter's curse. I mean, maybe right. You saw you saw the nature's prophet come out first, and like you said, most likely expecting that enchantress, and felt that that was already value enough to secure that pickup and maybe you know block out any further picks coming from Empire. Kind of having to force them to change their route a little bit. What does he do? I mean, as you said, Ember Spirit's still here, but I mean, Disruptor, you know, they've got ways to deal with that themselves. Kind of makes you wonder if, you know, Empire trying to force Secret into a position where they can't really feel confident in picking it, and maybe then Empire will come in as the oh, final. Oh, 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 okay. I, I, hope, right. I, hope, I hope Blitz is watching because whenever we sit and, and, and play and scrim with vegetables, yeah. I always suggest, why don't we try out the lifesteal against Enchantress? Oh, because he rages and then Untouchable doesn't work against him. But this guy, I mean, surely. Man, and he just it. laughs at me. He stops at me and he's like, you're so stupid, Jacob. <laughs> <laughs> so I now I can just be like, well, Puppy thinks okay. that I'm A-OK. -okay. And that's a good backing to have. I no, think so. Oh, Ramsey's Ember Spirit here. I mean, what are you doing in terms of lockdown on the side of, of Secret? You're relying on what the, 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 the two are? Oh, true. Yeah. yeah. You can kite the life stealer. You've already got set up. You know you've got the global pick off of Nix and you know NP looking for uh, action around the map. You get good timing on the bots. You can jump in. Yeah, I, mean, I have to agree with you, Owen. They're certainly lacking a, a decent amount of lockdown. We could be seeing an Ember coming out right here. Empire oh. making their oh, the oh, oh, okay. Someone else that deals well against the lineup that hasn't got a lot of lockdown. Uh -huh. All right. Well, the Slark yeah being left open gets picked up. Live Stewart and Slark the last picks. It is the last game. Of day two, it is the last game to find out who takes that one spot left in the semifinals. Will it be Empire or will it be Secret? And the winner of this goes up against Team Liquid. So I, even if you win this, you're, you've got a long trip before I continue oh, yeah. towards that trophy. But first, you stand in each other's way. Game number three, ladies and gentlemen, everyone at home, everyone here in Manila. It's just one more game, so let's keep that energy out. It's just one more game that we're here to watch. And then we get to rest and come back for more Dota tomorrow. Casters, take us to find out who wins, Secret or Empire.
Ten Who wants to rest? Who wants to go home? Definitely not me. Game number one was a beauty. Game number two was blooming marvelous. Game number three is now out of the box as far as we see like picks coming out. I don't know if you guys were expecting this, but this doesn't look like a standard secret lineup when you start looking at a life stealer pickup. And even outside of the life skill, like, yeah, Pilot Eye is kn known for being a good Wisp player, but that's not really been a go-to secret strategy at, at all of late, so... For secret, they're really pulling something different out here in the Game 3 Decider. Think okay. Think about it, three heroes relocating. Infest into the relocation. King R. He's close. But he's not close enough, and in fact, it's actually going to be Mapashka. He'll be the first one. Asylum and Prison allows for the setup secret. They go for a surround, and then they will most definitely touch that Enchantress into the grave. Down very early on. They clean up one of the Treants as well, which make it very difficult for Team Empire to keep that vision up. And this will ensure bottom room for Team Secret. They actually go for more here? Actually, more importantly, they want to get the wards down against the Enchantress. Yep. There's, I mean, there's so many Enchantress camps, so you can go to that secret shop now as well, though. Okay, so for laning, guys, let's start talking about our laning. Like, we've seen live stealers run dual off lanes earlier today. Uh, are you okay just let it leaving Universe by himself on that bot lane? Or should Puppy stay close to him and hold his hand? I think Pilot Eye probably will be rotating between the mid and the off lane. He's gonna be, like, roaming around trying to help out wherever lane he can. If anything, it's Envy on that safe lane life stealer who perhaps won't get all that much support. He can at least hold his own as far as just having the the, the life steal to kind of sustain himself. So should be at least in an all right position to trade farm with a nature's yeah, profit. Puppy should be up there with him, yeah. like to make sure that the profit doesn't get too much done in the laning phase. And Palada will be roaming around alone. And you look at Empire though, as far as they're roaming, you've got Enchantress who can pick up creep, smoke around, and then Nature's Prophet TP, and it feels like Empire do have a lot more options as far as the early game aggression goes compared to Team Secret. Okay, early game aggression, the best creep already for Enchantress. Oh, we've already got Hadouken. Yeah, we do. Yep. And this is, this is the oh, same he's got, time he's got as the, I... the, the Golems as well, which is another great early game aggression creep if he wants to grab it. Yeah, this bottom lane, they are not, like, Team Secret are getting up in the face. They're using boring combination with Io just to try and do as much damage as possible and keep King R down. He's only got two tangos to really consume. As, um... No, Artiz doesn't have anything to follow this up. He's, he still doesn't have an orb attack available. Uh, but the fact that Universe is then also getting up his face, Pilot Eye will then just start to regenerate. And they both come up. So you get... You try and slow down the farm of Ramses, or at least keep it away from the farm that Eternal Envy is able to achieve up on that top lane. Yeah, which is, currently looks really good. Team Secret have the top three CSs. This is like the weakness of the Slark at the laning phase. He's not as great as other heroes and other cores, so... He's gonna struggle against this lane until the Enchantress decides to move around. And here he comes. Oh, here she up. She arrives, pile eye die. Well, that's had a blast. It's so hard, and with a Thunder Strike. The damage is unbelievable, however, they do not get the Centaur stop until Glimpse back into the perfect stun timing, pouncing forward, Team Secret, say goodbye to your duel offlane. He, he was moving the Centaur back before the Glimpse was even cast, that teamwork and coordination from Empire is just sick there. This is what we expect from them, this is what we oh. saw on day number one, and I was really worried that we wouldn't get to see it on day number two, we've seen Team Empire have troubles when they turn to land events, things just don't work, the wheels come off, but this car is still running very smoothly. Uh, that, that rotation was so important to help Ramses in his laning phase, and right now he's going to be able to get his level 3, level 4, has his poor manager and boots. So the lane has become much, much better for the Slark here. Okay, let's look towards the timing of Team Secret. Now, we've had some wonderful, clammy kind of plays with the Life Sealer previously. Do we look to see, again, some kind of ancient manipulation from Envy? Is he the type of player that would go for this Black Dragon kind of thing? And he has to, I think, because look at their, their lineup. Everyone is going to be farming a lot, like mm -hmm. the, the other heroes are going to be farming a lot, and you, you can't really wait for the Beastmaster to reach level 6 if he's having a very, very bad early game. So you need to rely on someone else, which is the Life Sealer getting his level 6 so he can actually run around with his Ancients. And with Empire, they are going to be fighting a ton. They're going to be teeping the Nature's Prophet around, who already almost has his phase boots up. Enchantress, we've already seen the first gank, and the second likely to be coming soon. So if, if you're someone in Envy's position, I don't think you can just sit top lane farming, because that's what OD's going to be doing mid. That's what Beastmaster will need to be doing in the jungle with an Iron Talon to get his level 6. So mm -hmm. this is almost reminiscent of like the secret games yesterday when they played against Empire, where they just had too many kind of greedy cores that didn't get enough done. So they 
can try and salvage that perhaps with Life Sealer using those that kind of ancient infest trick. So maybe the other time we should be looking at is Team Empire's timing. Right. Like it's a whole bunch of greedy calls, which means you want to have a hell of a lot of space. When does the Knicks, Slark, and Prophet really start making a play? Do you even really have a play? Like that early TP for an Aegis Prophet normally will allow you to get a kill, but where's your setup coming? Disruptor and Enchantress? Currently they've looked at the bottom lane. Yes, they brought down the dual lane, but they also gave away the first blood. And it was the offlaner that you killed off. Can you slow down these two big cores of Team Secret? Can you stop the Ancient Curse, which you know is coming? I think they definitely can fight. Yeah. They, they're they going to look to, I mean, for one, like you see now, don't let RTZ get any runes. Uh, any t like You should be able to basically control the map at this stage of the game. Enchantress will set the tempo as far as smoking around. You can even bring the Disruptive if you want. And the Nature's Prophet is pretty much ready to start TPing and fighting now. They, like, to me, their timing is like the next five minutes of this game. It's like they're taking turns. Right now, Enchantress is helping them get into shape. And once Nyx level 6, Nyx is going to move like with the Arcane Boots. And then after that, it will be the Slark moving when he has level 7, level 8. He's gonna, you, like, the way you want to play Slark is you occupy the enemy jungle, you farm their jungle, and you leave the safe lane for your teammates, so everyone gets much more farm. Well, your Nyx is going to have level 6 now. Uh, this Kree wave is underneath the tower, he is in like absolute safety. And after life just retreats, he's got his faith boots up and running. So we could also look for a small opening in a moment. And the universe has his level 5. Everyone's leveling quite nicely. The only one who's a little bit behind for Team Secret. Oh, hello. My Golem stuns, but there's no follow-up. The IO's right behind it, and he's the one which isn't leveling well. But he's got Bottle, so... Does he really care that much? His job is pretty much to prevent these ganks from happening from Enchantress and Nature's Prophet. Be there, ready to heal up a teammate who gets initiated on, or at least scout out potential smoke rotations from Enchantress, so... Pretty much just playing that ultra defensive sit behind your carry kind of support right now it's, it's kind of brutal though because you see the difference in levels like it's it's a full level between the supports okay maybe this helps out when puppy will come to the middle lane scandal well spy carapace still only level one and they're throwing down the wall they need more damage and they will be able to hit up the hill even the prophet he tp'd into the middle of this rt's already stolen 30 intelligence he's willing and ready to fight now they find themselves another kill, Envy's gonna pop himself back out, the damage, the spill damage, almost killed off the disruptor, this one, a blast flies down! Puppy! Welcome to a double kill in the mid lane attack! And that was the Prophet's first TP to try and influence these fights, and it was unsuccessful. I mean, Secret just had much more heroes there. Which is not what you'd normally expect when there's a Nature's yeah. Prophet on the other team, but they were almost like, okay, Nature's Prophet's gonna TP in, let's make sure we bring everyone except Beastmaster. Four secret heroes commit to it, and they know at most Empire are going to have four themselves. They're not going to likely be rotating in Slack this early on in the game. I'll take that. So the Nyx has his level 6 right now. Also level 6, so... Let's so see. Beastmaster has his level 6, though, so there's Roar online as well, on the side of Secret. He's looking for the Beastmaster. He's expecting to find him farming the camp near the, the secret shop. He expects correctly. And he's, he's still got a long time left on this vendetta. Question is, can he do this by himself? Prophet TP, yeah. yeah. Like, there's your stun, Prophet. Yeah, he's TPing up just above it. Can Team Secret bring help in? Universe still very tanky. He's got Roar of Elbash, not anymore. He burnt too much mana. The Pile I Die might be giving it back in just a bit. He's still short from the cold embrace of there from Puppy. Pile I Die will sacrifice himself. Half-Life wants to finish this job. But he may not be able to when the open wounds, the extra help. Apostrophe is going to go down. Envy's rage allows him to attack through, attack through that untouchable. And they oh. want to go for more. He finds a dragon. Well, lucky duck. He actually has the perfect timing for it as well because this timing will allow him to kill off the small black dragons, and then he can take the primary one, oh, which allows the camp to respawn again to get like another set of dragons. Okay. Is he killing it or infesting it? There oh, he's, he's infesting, infesting it. it. Okay. It was the other bike dragon yeah. right below it. Alright, here we go. Again. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Put a smile on that dial, Winter. Come on, it's all fine until the glimpse happens in the middle lane. OD pulled back, Prophecy being forward. Universe instantly roars onto Afterlife with a ball. If he slow down, he stays very close, so there's no way to sprout, protect himself. In fact, he tries to keep Arteezy, the primary source of damage, away. The wear of the axis, there's not enough mana. He's short by 10 mana. Universe can't ensure the kill, but now here comes Mike Dragons! The Game of Thrones currently belongs to Team Secret. As the dragon, he does have to expend it almost instantly, but a kill is a kill. So, there was a bit of miscommunication there, like he prisoned himself when they brought on the Prophet. Otherwise, they would have been able to kill the Prophet very, very easily. <laughs>
<laughs> Winter is coming by the end of this night. <laughs> Ramsey's. <laughs> He's still having himself a really good time over on this line. This hand of mine, as he said, like it's it's getting closer and closer. But Team Seeker, we're eight, eight minutes in. Uh, you were saying this when we were talking about the draft gods. Uh, Team Seeker don't really have a great tower pushing lineup. Like you normally make space with the Black Dragon to take out the creep wave. But as you see, when Universe has his small little call of the wild army, they can push down this tower quite nicely. Four heroes together and there's no trade-off. And the early game just went a lot better for Secret than you'd expect with this draft, at least in my mind, when the Enchantress and Nature's Prophet are just like the key aggressors, and on Secret's side, they just got so much out of that mid lane, where the rotation from the Winter Wyvern with the smoke, and then and the, uh, the TPN from the Life Sealer just completely caught Empire off guard, so... Thanks to the early game going a lot better, Secret actually find themselves in a position to take objectives. Yep, and Relocate is coming online right now, so it's going to be very, very dangerous for Empire. What a time to have that happen. Actually, they don't even bring anybody else. It's the dangerous of the, of the gank of the smoke mid. And Scandal just used his stun and Spy Carapace, so they instantly fall off into towards the wall. And Scandal will lose his life, and that'll probably actually mean the Tier 1 tower as well. Ramsey jumps in, they find Arteezy, leashing him in inside the storm! And now Poppy, he has to curse over an Afterlife. They're gonna glimpse Universe back into this fight. Poppy can't do much more for the split blast. Maybe he can. Afterlife, the boar! The boar is gonna kill him oh. off at the end of all of this. Poppy will still die. The Team Empire get a good counter initiation off and they bring down three heroes of Team Secret. Yes, yeah. King R, that, that static storm and just instantly blowing up Arteezy was just so good. And, <sighs> and the defense maker is Ramses in this fight, like compared to the last fight, he wasn't here. Yeah. Wendy, looking to go on mid Polska here in the mid lane. And he's actually going to get the kill as yep. well. Again, this this Enchantress does not play well with Lifestealers. This is much less gimmicky than what we saw, like, complexity with the Lifestealers. This is what we saw, like, some of the teams doing at Star Ladder, where it was, like, VGR running the safe lane farming Lifestealers. You go for this phase, drums, likely an armor to follow up. And yes, you go in these Ancient Creeps, but you're popping out at the first pop possible opportunity. You're not trying to maximize your, like, Radiance or your Iron Cell damage from your Ancient Creep. It's just fight as a Lifestealer as soon as possible. The Ancient Creep is just, like, a temporary magic immune body that you can fulfill and then get Rims, the infection. Rims. Now, Team Secret knew this was coming, and luckily Tether does not care about the bounds of electrical field. They have two observ observer wards watching that top river area. They also saw the fact that Team Empire just placed down their new obs. So vision staying up for Team Empire is going to get harder and harder, but they try and find themselves another kill. Highlight die, silence up, thanks to the storm, this time he will not be able to tether himself out. And they do find that kill on the IO. And this disruptor pick is working wonders for Empire right now. And I think them so many, so many kills. This disruptor player, King R, has just been. Yeah. <laughs> he has impressed me. As far as give him any support, I want to see him in every single right. support to see how he works. It's one of those players like before this tournament, like you saw Empire playing like some of the lead up tournaments, the online matches. And you're like, yeah, like he seems like a solid support. But when you're seeing him do what he's doing on land now against teams like Secret, or Scandal, he didn't realize the Century Ward is there. The glimpse taking Arteezy further away. Making sure the scandal can escape safely. That's just kind of funny. It looked like Team Secret really wanted to go for that, but Envy ran into the lane and then just started farming the creep wave. Is he going to get another black dragon? No. No, he's. <laughs> it's a thunder hide. It's Maybe like, not uh, so great. The weakest creep, probably. <laughs> yeah. Oh, may not even want to infest it. We'll see. Nope, yeah, he's going to do it. it. Yeah. Ancient, is, uh, ancient is an ancient. Sure. Put the frenzy on your OD, perhaps. Are they still really going to have enough damage to deal with this? Like, right now we've seen, most of the time, Envy pop out of the engine mm -hmm. willingly. Yeah. It's not something which, which uh, Team Empire have been forced to fight into. The Thunderhide is just like an ancient that you can ignore, but again, if it's on top of you, it means there's a good chance that Envy's going to be popping out and just trying to kill you with his rage. Okay, how do you tank up Roshan? Infest an ancient. Then use OD for all your all your points of damage. The Sentinel's coming in from the Enchanters, however. This may not be so easy as Team Secret would like it to be. There's Poppy. Oh, nice curse! King R! You can see the respect given to the secondary support, and it's when a blast instantly disintegrates him. They have to back out now. Roshan's set at half-life. And Eternal Envy is currently still in ancient form. What do you do against that? Okay, you impedis it. That's the way to do some level of damage, but you still have a big army up here for Team Secret. And Scandal 
very difficult to initiate when the sentry's just there. It's like ancient creep and a sentry ward just scouting any movement towards the pit, so... It'll be an uncontested road. Yeah, Manatees, he has the Aegis Immortal, will buy his drums up as well with the conclusion of that. There's still one primary hero for Team Empire, which is far beyond the net worth of any other hero of Team Secret, and that's the Slark. Fresh Blink Dagger, fresh Midas, what has he got to do now? Keep farming. Like yeah, he, he just needs to keep progressing in terms of his items. At some point, he might even need a BKB against the OD, like Skadi BKB. He needs a lot of items this game. They, yeah. need, they need to draw out the game, like with the Prophet and the Slark speed pushing, and hopefully the rest of their teammates can actually buy enough time for that to happen. They don't have very good D push though, that's my issue with their lineup right now. Yeah. They have very good catch, but don't have good D push. Feels like even though he went this Blink Dagger, he's not going to be looking to actively fight with it. If anything, it helps him kind of maneuver around the maps, oh, push nice. a bit, farm a bit more. Naposhka just denied that okay. mid tower with just the status basic attack. Underneath four heroes of Team Secret, King but Ar. they're looking for some revenge. Revenge for game number two. King Ar, the Observer Ward, he actually just stops. Almost like he wants to accept his fate. And the Winter Wyvern and again, Puppy, that's now his fourth kill of the game. And moves quickly to the top lane. Splinter Blast this time around. High in levels very quickly, good at D-pushing. So right now, like the Slark still has a lot of uh, items that he needs to get. So they need to help him like get pickoffs possible to speed up his item progression. The Blink Dagger will help. Like it, once you're in a fighting shape, being able oh, to find the IO. Relocate. Yeah, the oh, the top top there. Well, that wasn't the right play. OT lost his friend very Puppy quickly. Yeah, Puppy is going to come and he's got curse available, but he can't see Ramsey's. He has to cold embrace RT. They don't have enough damage until the dark back comes in. Now the curse over on Ramsey's. RT, he's got space. Does he turn for the ultimate? Not going to do it. They just back out and step. You're okay with this. You just, like, you lost your IO for a, a relocate that didn't really work. You've still got Universe forcing out that bottom lane. With all the money he's picked up, oh, he's almost got the level 11-3 Necrobot. Empire is forming five heroes towards this lane. Uh, Beastmaster, oh, wait, if they can wait just a second longer. Universe wave his Blink Dagger. He's trying to go to the shop to pick it up and then join this fight. He doesn't have the best mana pool to work with. Has no, he doesn't. A roll with TP at most. Well, unless he just triggers oh. he triggers the Essence Aura from RTZ straight away, that will be one way. Pilot, I can give him some extra... Actually, Puppy's also got mana in a moment, too. It's still overall, like, that was a win in the top lane for Empire. They... A lot of secret rotations, they counterplay the relocate, killing off the IO, Slark getting involved in the kill, and it's just space and time where they can keep on farming, because very much this is an Empire team that wants to play towards the late game. Yeah, they were reading the situation very well. Like, baiting the Prophet, they know that the relocate's gonna come in to try and pick him off, and they were there ready for that gang to happen. Atezi's looking for a kill. The Observer Ward for the Radiant side is a little bit too closer to the river, so it doesn't actually see Secret's movement here. And in fact, uh -oh, I don't know if they scattered out Scandal going down, but the OD will now just imprison the mid. And keep Team Empire looking towards their Tier 2 tower. And for now, Secret have gotten very little value out of this Aegis, and that's just come down to Empire uh, moving around it's, the map it's incredibly happening. well. It's happening. Yay. Right. The Father of Dragons has now arrived. Eternal Envy has metamorphosed himself. The question is where, where he wants to use this. Like, normally you try and creep skip, actually they're gonna come in and try and kill him. Whoa. And the Prophet TP's forward, the relocate's coming, they need a stun, and the OD imprisonment will apply that. So this TP out will not work, and afterlife, that was a short life. Yeah, that was perhaps some fatigue or something kicking in, because that was a very... What was he Weird trying TP. to do anyway? Like, I don't know. They can't kill the dragon. Now Artiz, he may have another opening up on top lane. Puppy's rotating over as well, so Raposhka, Eternal Envy, he starts the open wounds, and Enchantress, that was one attack from Hatizi. Very simple to finish the kill. Two heroes lost. Hey, you can't, you can't let fatigue kick into you. Yeah, it's probably been a long day, but they're actually the ones that didn't have to play a full best of three before this, and this is elimination. There is no second chance here. You're out of the group stage if you lose this game. Yeah, they really just need to kind of slow things down, but also just prioritize not giving Secret these opportunities to find these free pickoffs. Oh, nice glimpse. Wow, Scandal to get the hit off with his Disruptor all the Universe. Damn, he's actually really tanky, especially when Cold and Brace, oh, and they actually get that it. curse on the Scandal. He's so low, but Randy's gonna come in and try and finish the job. Universe, he will be brought down. Oh, yeah. Scandal will be able to survive. He stole enough stats that Beastmaster didn't have mana for the roll. <laughs> yeah. Under attack.
And they just need to keep doing this, like, get pick off, make sure they split up the map, and just keep progressing in terms of items. At some point, Ramsey's just going to be a, a massive threat that Secret don't have a good answer to, answer to because something the, the panel kind of highlight when the Slack was picked up is there isn't much control to deal with this this uh, this slack. There's just the raw and that's something which you can't always rely on if he's if he's well timed on the duck back. Unless you get a hex, I guess, at some yeah, point the, on the OD. Well that may be a reason to always picking up the blink dagger. Now on TZ can do his own initiations once he gets the hex. Even right now he can do it. One thing they will have on him is always gonna be like having the vision from the Beastmaster Hawk. So sometimes you will be able to see the slack, catch him out by surprise with a blink raw. Hmm. Oh. And they're gonna need to have so much sustain, like Ramsey's getting very, very close to finishing up that full Scotty. Hmm. Like, it's his first primary item after having that Blink Dagger in Midas. Uh, talk about items, I thought Papioni does this build when he's on Doom. Like, he even does this on Wyvern, casual <laughs> buckler, into a Glimmer game. Right, no supports. Really valuing that... Maybe it, also, armor, I guess. maybe it also leaves the game open a little bit more for him too, because then, then they can work out, like, does Pilot I have a good game? Can he actually build the mech for him? Or does he still do it himself? I don't know man, Pilot Eye seems like way too poor to build a mech right now. Oh, top lane. Team Seeker prepare the defense. They have the sentry down which scattered the fact that uh, Nyx Assassin is up here. But also assume the same thing. And where is Universe headed off to? He's checking cliff sides for wards. Well this uh, <laughs> this granite column it may look like a normal granite golem, it may smell like a normal granite golem, but it is not. And, yeah, they saw Scandal with the sentry, so... For Empire, it's hard because they can't really maximize their farming efficiency when you're playing against the IO Relocate. Normally you'd see, like, four heroes head top while Prophet farms elsewhere on the map, but if you do that, you're perhaps just playing into Secret's I hands mean, with I the mean, pickoff. Only Slark can actually do that at this point, like, everyone else can't. Because Slark yeah. is, like, the sleeper's hero that Secret would have trouble catching up. The rest of the heroes have to be very cautious. The secret right now, like they don't even have to worry about catching someone out. They're taking all their early objectives they're, they're looking to get. This tier 2 tower on the top lane stays in numbered. And they're not coming to defend it. In fact, Empire again are looking to dodge. Yeah, they want to take trades where possible until they finish. Like Slack hasn't actually finished that big item, the Scardi, just yet. So he's not really in the best fighting shape. You saw the ping instantly come out from Team Secret after that, like, like they're, they're attacking top lane, they ping the bottom lane saying, we have to defend this, they're coming down here, question is, can they get the roll in time? Lifesteal is already sending his Ancient Creep towards the bottom lane, he's got a bit of a journey ahead of him, but... Empire aren't swift with taking this tower. Oh, they have, a, they have the blink raw here already, yep. he's gonna set up for his team. Here they come. Lifestealer is also arriving from behind, he's gonna tower the slug, and looks like King Arm, the wall will be going on him, the wife and she denied the tower, the big double stun, RTZ Universe caught out, they're inside the storm, King Arm is gonna go down, but you look like you're gonna lose maybe the Nyx, no it's White Carapus, they'll save him, but now Eternal Envy wants to get him to fight, this Nyx Assassin, he's still alive, looks for the stun, not gonna happen, Envy oh back to base in time. This disruptor, glimpse okay. back oh on top, no win to Wyvern for that fight, he got glimpsed back to the top lane, and then that that blink and pale from Nyx on two heroes. Holy crap, that was some incredible. Again, team coordination and just the team play coming out of Empire is just impeccable. The reason why you give Scandal comfort heroes. Yes. The Nyx assassin pickup. And that was something we, Winter saw the hero and it's like, oh, Nyx not good mid against OD, but you don't pick Scandal heroes to win his lane. You pick him heroes that can win him the mid win Empire the mid game. All has worked to charm. They create space. They take out the bottom towers of Team Secret. But Team Secret still have a lot to play with, but this Slark is becoming a beast. So coming over on the Courier right now is the remainder of his Scardi, and he's still got another 500, 600-ish gold to play around with, but it's also the other space created. Like Afterlife, he built the mech very early on to make sure the Team Empire was ready to try and take these fights, but now he can start building his split push items. He's building into that Maelstrom as his next item. This is starting to look good for Empire. If they can actually transition in the next 10 minutes even to even more items and the Slark building more items, it's going to be really difficult for Secret to control the Slark in fights. And for a long while it looked like it was going to be just the Slark on the side of Empire. Like the Nature's Prophet and Nyx weren't really keeping up in farm as core heroes, but after a couple fights like that in a tower or two, suddenly Nature's Prophet is back up there with the Beastmaster, with the OD and the Life Seal, at least kind of just a small bit of net worth behind them. And the, the Nyx and the Disruptor has been doing so much for the team. Like otherwise, the Slug and the Prophet wouldn't have so much space to actually farm and just progress in their items. 
All right, so you're in Team Empire's position right now. Your slack is getting bigger. You're looking to take fights. Can you actually properly force it? Because the Enchantress, you're not really feeling the power out of her just yet. Or do you continue to dodge? Like last time I asked you about the slack, like what does he do? And you're like, farm. Farm, farm is the key thing here. Can Prophet keep creating space for Slark to do this? I think farm is the key thing, but you have to pick your fights at yeah. some point. Like you, you want to be able to still kill heroes and just slow the tempo of a secret because they are on the dire side. If you let them just do whatever they want, they're going to eventually get Roshan and Roshan and Roshan, so you don't want that to happen as well. But picking heroes off when you're playing up against a Beastmaster, if that Hulk is in the right position, you're going to have a real issue with vision. Yeah, that's why p picking their fights is very, very crucial. I think if you're the, in the Empire Captain shoes right now, the one thing you're saying is, yeah, we want to try and pick and choose some fights, but whatever we do, don't overextend. Don't get overconfident, because that's something Empire have often kind of fallen prey to. And you've got this pause now to kind of take a breath, make those kind of at least mentions like, okay, yeah, let's let's be ready to contest a rush, and let's be ready to counterplay these relocates. Let's even look mm. for a smoke play, but do not dive for kills. Do not get too overzealous. It's actually fun to see Team Empire's facial expressions. Uh... Like they seem to be so happy. Like there's nothing but smiles across the board right yeah, now. Yeah, I mean, I mean, the other thing that we didn't really talk about, I think it's like we we always mention that Empire should just split and just farm, but they even went for a mech on the profit, which also means that they want they wanted to fire like a few minutes, like five minutes ago, they wanted to fight. That's why they went for like you don't go for a mech on profit early if you want to keep dodging. All right, so right now the issue, just so we can explain it to everyone at home, uh, there's currently an FPS issue. We're just trying to be worked out, but the admins will be making their way up uh, to see if they can resolve things. This game is already getting like late at night. I'm wondering if Team Secret is starting to like feel it. This, I like, guess, it's, it's the worst kind of thing when you've got the momentum. You're feeling you're okay. I know, like right now, the slack is a problem, but like, and that might be nice to have some time to talk about it. But the rest of Team Secret, like, they must be getting tired. Uh, they went through a pretty grueling series earlier today, even though it was, it, like, that second game was quite quick. They've got to be, like, after those last couple of fights, they've got to be very concerned. Like, they've, I believe, seen the Scotty pick up there. They have a ward up top on the Slack, and they're probably looking at this like, holy crap, this guy's ridiculously far. We don't really have a good hero to match up against him. We talk about the OD who can build into a site. You've got the Blink Hex, you maybe throw on some extra lockdown, but these kind of items are a long ways off, and... Secret are gonna like secret can't just sit around passively farming. They they still need to be to some extent trying to find pickoffs using the Beastmaster or using the relocate. That's kind of their that's their approach to this game. They want to be able to cr create those kill opportunities that can lead into objectives, into most importantly, I'd say the next Roshan. So that's the critical thing. We we all our points keep coming back to Roshan. That's the primary point for him. Stopping Team Secret, gathering it for themselves if possible, just to deny it, and allowing for bigger fights. All right, hopefully we're going to get back in. We're only missing one player from uh, from either side at the moment. Going to make that just one now for Team Empire. I think big picture wise, like Secret don't have any one key item timing that's coming their way that's going to completely change this game in my mind. Like they've they've got the Blink Dagger initiation. They've OD, I guess, can hit some of those big carry items, but there's no like, oh, they get this one initiation tool, things are going to be alright, so. Looks oh, like we're going to try. Okay. Almost. Almost. Pilot I called for a <laughs> moment. I think we were so close to actually continuing this game. It's still funny that, like, we're, like we, we can hypothesize about everything that Team C will be doing in the future. <laughs> I mean, if you go if you go towards like ultra late game, like why weren't we refresher? <laughs> yeah. Why now we're talking about real uh, hypotheticals. Are we are we gonna do that whole thing? Of, yeah. If you explore every single option, you've got to yeah. be right, at least. All right. We're, we're back in the game now. It's the money system way of doing it. Just keep trying to like hit that until you actually do it. T1 tower's not gonna go down, uh, so we are restarted. And this will be the removal of the last tier one tower of Team Secret. They they held on to all of their outer towers for so long until now this point. And Team Empire, they ain't stopping. They're coming for that tier two tower. Yeah, and something Winter pointed out, like having a mech really suggests you want to fight and continue fighting.
On the side of secret, you had the buckler, but no upgraded mech just yet. And you can't really dodge this. Yes, you look at. Oh, okay. They're having a crack. Puppy. There's your roar. Gonna go on scandal. Can they burn enough mana off him? He hasn't have been dead or anymore. And there's your curse. Trying to turn one into two, but the Black Carabas. Okay. Envy just pops out of the Black Dragon. There's your way to find the damage. Afterlife. Someone cut through the tree line. Afterlife! Just gets a TP out in time. Well, Ramsey's he's got space thanks to King R with this storm, but he can't do the damage to Arteezy. But the Glimmer Cape. As well as the cold embrace coming from Poppy, keeping Arturo alive. Whew. Good. I mean, one thing I thought, I thought Empire were not going to do was kind of overextend, but... One missed impale and Empire quickly find themselves in a bit of a precarious position, but managed to cut their losses, just the Nyx who goes down. Yep, more importantly, the Slack just gets out and... Yep. Again, like, he's the key hero, like, he needs to just keep... Speed pushing the map, keep getting items, like, everyone else can just die, but uh, apart from the Slark, like, he just needs to be able to just keep farming. Okay, so, the Slark gets bigger and bigger and bigger. Apart from Scythe on OD, with this Blink Dagger initiation, and the Blink Dagger initiation of Universe, what more do you need to commit to kill off this guy, while still being able to fight up against Empire? Do you need more items, or do you just start using your abilities? and just hope you still have enough strength uh, to fight the rest I of the I think apart from the Scythe, BKB on OD is also very important because of the Nyx and the Disruptor. So as long as you can get to that point with the OD... So we can actually start doing damage. Yeah, then you can do damage and control the slot much better. Sentry's down, they see Scandal. RT's gonna prep, but they have no follow-up to this. That was just a defensive Sentry ward in case he was there. That's something we've seen both game two and game three with the Nyx Assassin is every single time Secret have they scattered all his rotations with the Sentry Wards. Pile I die. This has been on point. The smoke and go. There's the vision. Scandal's sitting there, the smoke's gonna break. Universe jumps in, he's got the gem on top of him, and Scandal very quickly eliminated, and they may go for more. The blink fall from Artizi finds the imprisonment. Puppy is waiting with the curse, but it's Ramsey's. One of the slipperiest heroes to kill off, and they are not catching that fish. Oh, they're looking for a glimpse back, but they got it too. Poppy pulled back in. He can't get out of this one. He tried to actually glimmer cape up. The Odeon imprisonment from Arteezy will buy some space. Even now, uh, the movement from Universe. Remember, oh wow, that curse. It's got to keep the Enchanters under control. The cold embrace. Puppy, he just stays alive a little bit longer, allowing Universe to do more and more work. Finally, Puppy will die. So they turned basically almost a guaranteed death of Puppy into yet another Man. kill. There was such a good play by him even though he died, like he, he cursed the targets behind and he immediately ran over towards the area there so to protect himself. He yeah. bought so much time for his team to actually finish the other heroes off. Pilot and I pick up that rumor for the train. He just gets it. Yep, so Ramses is gonna have his Scuddy BKB. Bring Scuddy BKB, like I suggested earlier, like these are the items that he really needs in this type of game. Talk about hard, hard to kill, like now it's gonna be even harder, or even close to impossible as long as he pops his BKB. Well that's the trick isn't it? Get that BKB off. Normally you do see it coming until like, like that moment. And the Beastmaster's like, oh, I'm fairly certain he's there, just blink forward with and like, boom boom. Scandal playing so brave up against the gem. So close to everything as well. I mean, he, he doesn't needs, mind dying as the thing. He I needs feel. to do that. Yeah, yeah he's playing like the bounty hunter role where you roam around mm -hmm. a bit. Yeah, he's got more farm than maybe a bounty hunter would, but. And the timing of it is perfect too, because yep. he's, he's trying to find information for Team Empire. Team Empire is smoked up, looking to jump our tour, and they're going to get it. Relocate, save that. It doesn't come in time. Only a fraction of a second oh, too short. Now Pylite died. Yeah. You'll have to rely on Ghost Scepter and Tether away. But he needs more time for this. Triggers the Ghost Scepter already. And then, tether up, they'll glimpse him back though. There is no escape. Team Empire will punish him, taking not only the two hero kills, but also the tier two tower. It looks like Empire, well, they don't need to go for more, do they? They could go for Roshan, perhaps? Is it... Probably the best target. Like, no OD and, and Aya for a while. And they managed to have that fight too without Ramsey's having to expend his 10 second BKB. They don't roast that, okay, yeah, actually, oh, let's say they don't roast particularly quickly, and with Secret's respawn time is happening very fast, it's not exactly the, a safe play to make against the Beastmaster Hawk Vision, so... It might also be the respect to the fact that the Wisp can relocate out, yep. like the ERD, so they'll be straight there in the fight, it's not even a, a question of, oh, we respawn and then we walk out, it's there right on top of the fight. Again, it's Scandal just roaming around, not worried about going down too much.
just going to rely on his fast fingers to blink away should he get scouted out by a Beastmaster gem, for example. <laughs> Speaking of Beastmaster, he's got really, like, a hell of a lot of net worth. For an Aegis Prophet that's just having a lot of time, like, fun split pushing out, this Beastmaster is still 28 minutes in with level 3 Necro Book, like that gem, which was purchased by Puppy, of course. But the Blink Dagger also on him. Like, he's got practically everything he was originally looking for. Yeah, but he hasn't really gotten a lot done for his team, like, so far, 28 minutes into the game. Like, it's like, because every, every time they're dodging, right? The, yeah, the Puffer yeah. and the Slark Sweet Pushing has made it very difficult for Universe to find openings. Like, they haven't really been using Relocates offensively that much, either. Because Universe hasn't been able to set up a, a raw for the Relocate to happen. Well, what else does he really do? Like, does he try and buy a Shadow Blade so he's got, like, two different forms to try and find an initiation? Or is it just like into something more like BT? I, I actually kind of like that Shadow Blade idea. <laughs> no, I, I, will, I actually think that they need more heroes to actually push the lanes. Like m maybe the Beastmaster has to be more proactive at pushing the lanes. I understand that I mentioned earlier that if you're on a tempo controlling hero, you want to not show yourself on the map. But when the situation becomes that the team can't really deal with all the lanes properly, the Beastmaster has to help push, like because OD doesn't even push lanes, like OD and Lifestealer, they don't push lanes fast enough to create opportunities for the, the Beastmaster to actually look for ganks to happen. I mean, if you notice Bulldog, the way sometimes he plays his Beastmaster, he takes up a lot of farm, he, he keeps split pushing and he keeps putting pressure on the opponent. Puppy, it looks like he just wants to glimmer cape himself into that mid lane. Spinner Boss keep him out for now, and uh, Envy? Comes in with a Thunder Hide, but uh, that's Slark, he does quite a fair chunk of damage, combining it with the Enchantress too. These Ancients are no longer really a scary factor. Yeah, just look at all the lanes of the creeps, like they are always on the side of Secret. They need to be able to deal with all the lanes better. Push Here out comes the Secret again. They're gonna do Rush. They're gonna be quick about it. Well actually that's Afterlife with a Blink Dagger and ability to TP anywhere across the map, so... That's not so good for him. And this Roshan, or Secret, they're going to be quick enough. They take Roshan, the Aegis Immortal into the hands of Arteezy, and Team Empire will not try and chase them out of the pit. Uh, at least they're going to be able to get a tower at top. And keep the speed push going. That's the final out of tower as well. And it's even with that Aegis, it's still Empire who are in just a much stronger position. And if right you look, now if you look at the Golden Experience as well, like their position is over 5k on both graphs. Yeah. They're just using the map much better, like using the advantage of the heroes, being able to push out lanes much faster, the Slark and the Prophet especially, compared to the OD and yeah. the, the They've got right, Slark who can't really die yeah. at this stage, and Nature's Prophet who's... Uh, Nature's Prophet, you're pushing out all the lanes, you maybe can get caught if your opponents are like on point and predict your movements, yeah. but... That's why I'm suggesting that maybe the Beastmaster has to help push out the lanes, yeah. like just take more of a pu lane pushing situation where you need to be able to just push out the lane first and see what happens. Like maybe let the Wyvern plus plus the Lifesteal roam around and try to set up kills because you are able to push faster than the other heroes. I think Lifesteal could have even gone for like the Maelstrom build to push out a bit more efficiently, or is that? Oh, here goes right. the dragon. <laughs> he still needs more in the team fight now. Envy, oh, he's got perfect timing on the storm. No ability to get into rage. Yes, he got and spun. Oh. He got spun first before the storm. Yeah. If you yeah, if you time it perfectly, you can actually get it before like rages and BKBs. Oh, uh, there's a slight cast timing. Right <laughs> oh, that puts Envy on the sideline. Fifty seconds. But the Aegis Immortal is still in the hands of Team Secrets. They still have like double double Arteezy for the next fight. Now Arteezy is still insanely big. Like with a BKB and a Blink Dagger, he's still gonna be able to stand in the fights and do his work. Yeah, but Empire can always choose not to give the fight to them. Yeah. Yeah. Let's wait out the Aegis the Immortal. Like they've only gotta wait another like three minutes. I mean they're more than happy to do that. <laughs> Slug gets more items, why not? <laughs> He's already finished up his Moonshard. Another 1k gold on him. Yeah, he just needs like a lockdown item next. The Basher, I imagine. Basher into Abyssal? Yeah, more or less. Like those, uh... He's a better target. Items. You're gonna find out easy. Ramsey's starts the attack. The pounce actually went up and <laughs> leash Pylite died. Even though the imprisonment took him out of play for a little bit, Pylite will now go set her up. And Afterlife will arrive just to ensure the kill as uh, Arteezy leaves his teammate to die. Looks a little clowny, but... That's the that's certain mechanics. <laughs> they gonna go for more? No. Team Secret just trying to force out the lane a little bit more, but it's it's bottom lane where also Maposhka 
He's, he's ready to add pressure. Like all lanes are starting to be pressured out apart from the top lane, even, but our life's there. Even the enchantress is just helping out. Like Seeker really needs more heroes to push out the lanes. If, if they cannot deal with the lanes, there's not much they can do to move out from their base. It's actually oh. Wyvern doing a little pushing. Wyvern has 3.6k gold all of a sudden, but this is not a hero that can do much with farm. Like yeah, you've oh, got refresher. <laughs> No, it's not refresher. It's gonna be blink. This, Winter's curse is not what it no. used to be. <laughs> this was the old Winter's curse. I'd be like, yeah. He's refresher. waiting to have buyback. Like he's his surplus is uh. now just over the amount, so he can have a blink dagger and still have buyback. Okay. And look for the the glorious blink curse. Like that's kind of the play because it then only gives OD time to steal out that intelligence and be a big player in the fight and not just rely on like Universe to do all of the work for his team. But she's gonna be doing a lot of work still. Like he's still got 2.7k gold on him as as well. And Empire know this. That's why Empire are not like, hey guys, let's just go up to the high ground. And this should be a piece of piss. Yeah. Secret's a team who will look to come back in the game through buybacks when they're behind. And that's something Empire is showing a lot of respect towards. They're not gonna go for any kind of a high ground seat where they oh, can. Oh, top lane. The curse. That's the loft. That. Where's the extra attack? Send him out, and uh, now, oh, Nick's assassin. He's so quick with that haste rune. Vendetted up, and King Ars also, yep, he will complete the TP. Space created. <laughs> that has been scandal, like, his motto throughout this tournament. How do you attack him now? Like, what do you want to do, build a defusal? Okay, oh, that's one way to yeah. do it. Blink forward there and find go. scandal. The observer and sentry, which is a little bit further to the southwest, revealed his position, and now space has been removed. Yeah, that was... Not scandal just didn't really expect there to be a ward there, so. Looks like the Assault Kiras is also approaching completion here for Lifestealer. So these team fights are getting stronger and stronger for Team Spirit. Even though Spirit we still have to in secret. Uh, uh for, for, yeah, yeah, secret. Yeah. 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 Shout out to Goblack if you see him again. Um but the Slark is still eight thousand net worth. Ahead of almost everyone. They're gonna put this to work right now. As the IO picked up in the bottom river. I mean, Secret can hit, like, AC on Lifestealer with Hex on OD. That's where they may look to smoke up around that timing. Try and get a high priority kill with a Blink Hex. You got a Hex on Afterlife now. Yep. If, if Team Empire can get the vision beforehand, you just TP your Prophet and he I mean, blinks and instantly takes out the OD. They can get all those items, but still, getting the fight is also yeah. the, the biggest problem. Like, getting there, like, using the items. Getting a fight where they're the ones getting the jump. Finding a hero like Slark, if you can, with a Blink Hex, that just seems like a long shot there. If only they had a Beastmaster Hawk, it would be oh. so much easier. But life is too hard. I should get, like, oh, okay, get Assault shivers and Sheevers. Okay. They're, they're looking for anything that's going to give them strength in this team fight. I guess I mean, picking up a Sheevers is very much like, okay, we're going to play for even further into the late game, because I think Secret desperately going to need that Hex at some point in this game. So Team Empire happy to keep this lane, the, the lane split. Make a very, very passive style of game, but Team Spirit, uh, Secret, ah. If you have, <laughs> it's now gonna be a tick. It's getting uh, late, Toby. It's gonna be that real bad nervous tick. Uh, yeah, Team Secret, you've got all these items. It's nice for team fighting, but do you then force it? Like, you're still running around with, a, with an ancient abusing live stealer who has some wonderful items, but cannot use them on anything apart mm. from like, oh, I'll just farm up a wave. But you'll never win in your efficient efficiency up against a slark. Then like actually, the, Empire's gonna like satisfy the need. They're coming in with a four-man smoke gank. Yeah, for Secret they wanna just keep playing around their ability to take Roshan as they've done. But that's gonna get trickier and trickier as Empire build up a number of big items. But they've got three four staffs. This life stealer is gonna struggle tremendously to deal any kind of damage in a team fight. All about the kite. Also, items that just make it hard to get the Winter's Curses off. Well, that's one way to scout it out. He's gonna go into the Granite Golem, but now Envy, that Impetus damage puppy, needs to keep the distance. Envy will raise, he's gonna be pulled back in again, and while the relocate, this time the save will be good from Pylai Die. Ramsey's also expending that BKB of his. Holding imprisonment. It's all about the protection. As Maposhka, he's left hanging around a little bit too long. They're gonna let the roar go, and this Enchantress, even with the next stun, it means they can maybe turn this into two heroes. Half-Life's rotating back over, gives the mech the OD imprison up one. But now the rest of Team Empire are back in for the fight, and Team 
The team secret, they hide inside the base. Man, that spell was so good. That's powerful after life. This life still is not having a good time at all. <laughs> yeah, good luck to four star sprouts. And it, it also kind of takes yeah, it takes away an item slot in some ways. He wants he almost needs to have a quelling blade just to deal with sprout, but uh, I'm sure. Uh, what do you what do you do, Jackie? Battle Fury, RTZ trouble. Pile and Dani to give him more life for the cold embrace from Puppet. They do create the space. RTZ self imprisonment has to be used as well. Enemy still the chest. front line. Ramsey doesn't need the tower, but RTZ will finally go down. No buyback available, so he will not be helping his teammates out in this fight. Oh my God! Did you, did you see what, how he killed him? Like he popped up of the Astro and it was damaged, and he popped five characters and he ran up next to him, so he couldn't bling away. Man, that was so well played by Scandal. Ramsey's with 31 stacks of essence shift now can push very quickly. Oh, really nice follow-up stuns. They actually used the spike carapace when Puppy was gonna spoon a blast to get the initiation off an enemy. He's down the wall to relocate again. Pilot died. The second saving grace. Ramsey's you're in very deep here. Ramsey's right the tier four towers. Can they find more? Universe is down. Team Secret assigned to unravel. Late into the Phil Philippine night. They've lost three, they lost their mid racks, they may lose more than this. Look at them go, Empire. They're making a beeline, they can sniff victory. They can sniff taking out Team Secret in their first official tournament with this new roster and eliminating them before they even hit the playoffs. There's no puppy for a minute now, he just died back into that fight. And they found oh. MVP in the trees. Shouldn't have followed HY, HY's advice and now Team Secret, they are staring down the barrel of a GG 2-1 victory for Empire. And again, they face up against Mega soon. Artizi, what do you even do? You can't do anything. You've got no other heroes. They have to accept the fact they are now fighting Megas. And they are now and they know out they of the it. tournament. They accept the fact it's over. Team Empire, take it out. We had an amazing game number two, but Team Secret, it just isn't enough. The team that 2 0 them in the first game in the group stage will effectively eliminate Team Secret from ESL 1 Manila. Empire, it was no fluke on day one. It was no, at this point, you can't just say, oh,